Hi there, this is Valentine and welcome to another Postman tutorial. This time I wanted to show you how you can work with uh, Amazon Web Services AWS APIs from Postman. What happens is that when you're trying to use an endpoint, you're probably getting an error like access denied and you're not sure about what exactly you need to do in order to get access to the API. In my case, I'm trying to push some data in a simple queue and I'm going to show you how to do it but this works pretty similarly for any other service that comes from Amazon. Now, first of all, I assume that you are already a bit familiar with AWS, that you have an account and that you know how the Amazon console web interface works like. So the first thing that I will do is I'll go here to all services and I will go to this access management from here, I go to users and I will add a new user. Let's call this user postman. And what's important is that you enable programmatic access because this will give you an access key and a secret. And this will allow you to access the AWS API with that information. When it comes to permissions, I don't want to give you anything like how you should configure it, do it as you think. For example, in my case for the queue, I will use an existing policy. I don't need any tags. And I will simply create a user. Now, when you create it, you will be given an access key ID and also a secret key that you will see here. I recommend taking this information and putting it in Postman inside a variable. So next, going back to Postman, all you have to do is to go to authorization. And there's an authorization helper called AWS Signature. Here you can enter your access key. Your secret access key. It's also important that you go to advanced and add some additional information as well. Not all of them, but some services require that you provide the region as well. But also the service name. In my case, it's a simple queue service. So after I have entered the access key, the secret key, the region and the service, I can resend this request. And then you will see that back is a 200 OK, and this is the contents of the message. So now the authentication worked perfectly. Now, there are still a lot of errors that you can get, and you need to check that the permissions are OK, that, for example, that the service name was specified, the region was specified, that the security token has been properly copied, that there are no spaces or anything like that. So double check everything. So this is how you can work with the AWS API from Postman. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If this was the case, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below. Make sure that you check the video description because I will be posting there some troubleshooting ideas in case you're getting any errors. Yeah, for other videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and see you next time at another tutorial. Bye bye guys.